You can actually almost feel the vibrations in the air when they're all flying. This quiet Westerville bed and breakfast usually houses around six guests per night. But this weekend, they had nearly 2,000 bees check into their backyard. The unexpected swarm was the biggest they've ever seen. There's a lot of them. Chris Wise was the first to spot them when they moved in and set up shop. Just a huge cloud of, of buzzing and uh, they slowly made their way over to uh, to the pole. Right now, bees are looking for a new home, and beekeepers like Craig Berry say, when you see them, don't panic. It's all part of a process. When the weather gets warm, it's their natural tendency to actually uh, fly away, swarm, and actually that's how they reproduce. When a beekeeper encounters a hive, they take the hive and they shake it into this box. They carefully install the other honeycombs into the box. And they're ready to go. Specialists also say it's best to contact professionals and don't treat the swarm on your own because using insecticides can lead to big trouble. Uh, not a good idea, number one. Um, it's illegal to do that. Number two, it's safer that they get someone who's a beekeeper who knows how to handle the situation. The bees were only at the bed and breakfast for one day, but Chris says seeing nature in this way is an experience he will never forget. In awe, really, just in awe of nature and, uh, and what it can do.